What are you, screen recording? So they can make it see. You will see everything that we, yeah. Th this is why he's in charge of like everything. <laughs> okay. I need an adult at all times. <laughs> okay. YouTube, guys, what's going on? It's me, Colin John O'Connell. And I'm here with my friend, the Flash to my Batman. Aww. Tyler Lou. There we go, Tyler Lou. And today, Tyler actually had the wonderful idea for us to react to Vox videos because they are very popular and they have pretty thumbnails. <laughs> <laughs> they have super interesting videos and like different topics and I think it'll be, it'll be fun to look at. Yeah, so uh, without further ado, let's uh, hop right into it, shall we? Yeah, let's go. With why people think they see ghosts. I'm interested. Let's make our predictions though before okay. we say anything. What would your explanation be for like seeing ghosts? I think that if you're going into a scenario and you think that you're gonna see something, you see it. So like if I'm driving down the road and I think, oh my God, there's a deer crossing sign, watch out for deer. And I see something run past, even if it was a raccoon, I think yeah. it's a deer. Oh yeah. So if I'm walking into like some haunted house or whatever, or maybe even some house, and I think to myself like, oh, I, I'm gonna see such and such spirit today. Yeah. And I see something fall over and the wind pushed it over. Yeah. I think, holy shit, I just saw a ghost. And that's like the same thing with like yeah. aliens, like people, and like Bigfoot. Yeah. Right. You know right. Like you're looking for Bigfoot, even if it's a bear, you see Bigfoot. You see Bigfoot. Yeah. 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 To play devil's advocate. No, go no, please. By advocate. all means. I don't personally believe this. I just you know, this is a fun idea. Yeah. You know, how people think that, you know, like the unfinished business thing and it's like, you know, they're sticking around until like who fucking knows. We can only guess. We can only we guess. Have no idea. Also, this entire time I want you to know, I don't know what to do with my hands. I've awkwardly been putting them oh. places. <laughs> I've been like trying to figure out my, my happy spot. Yeah, hey, no, you're good. You're good. Is there actually any proof that ghosts exist? Terrifying. Absolutely oh. terrifying. Okay, Vox. I want to see you in New York to talk to Joe Nickel, a paranormal investigator who's been trying to answer that question for almost 50 mm -hmm. years. Listen, 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 listen. When your job title is paranormal investigator, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like telling me you're a Bigfoot researcher, a Bigfoot expert. Okay, <laughs> I, I will counter it with this. Okay. Zach Bagans. Boo! Ghost Adventures. Okay. One of the biggest shows on Travel Channel. Oh. The guy is loaded. And you know what his title is? What? Paranormal Investigator. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's real. It means right. it sells. It right. means it, it sells. sells. Exactly. <laughs> Not a single ghost or haunting has been authenticated by science. Part of what makes it difficult to investigate. I will say, different ways people I am a, a big believer in like science. Like that's how right. I, I view like most things. Like if it can't be proven by science, I'm like, I don't know if that's real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I think, I think that that's a really good point. And what's interesting about this is that he's saying that no paranormal case has been proven by science. Now, you but he's a paranormal right. expert. Is he negating himself? Like, what, what's, it's weird. He's like, listen, the thing I study has never been proven, but I'm an expert on it. <laughs> Mysterious footsteps in the attic? Ghost. Patrick Swayze seductively helping you throw a vase? Ghosts? Definitely ghosts. Okay. <laughs> All of the would-be evidence that ghosts exist consists of ambiguous photographs, videos. The next day, his HDTV literally begins rocking violently from side to side all by itself in first-hand accounts. Even if it's during the day. See, I look at that, I'm like, that's fake. There's no way. There's certain things that I look at, uh -huh. and I just think, okay, even if you wanted to fake that, how would you fake that? Oh, you know, just... Strings? No, certain things. Oh, yeah, yeah, Certain yeah, yeah, yeah. things. Maybe not that video. Mm -hmm. But there's certain things that you watch, For sure. that I watch, and I'm like, there's no way. Like, okay. Like, how? How is that possible? I totally get what you're saying. Yeah. Because, like, like you'll watch some shit, and it's like, oh, that just happened. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And it's like, be be really hard to fake that. Yeah. But I think there are other explanations, too. Could be. I, I think walking down, like, stairs, and then you hear, like, a loud shut or something like that. The odds of that being a ghost or the odds of, like, that being, like, piping. That, like, just sounded loud and now you're connecting dots in your head. It could be. You know what I mean? Cool, because, again, now your brain is thinking ghost. Yeah. So you're thinking you, it's a ghost. Put yourself in the same scenario, but now, in your head, you're thinking of a serial killer. Right. You're gonna, you're gonna yeah, think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, he just got in. I want while we're watching this. Like, they really like the shade of the just flying. Like a little glimpse of a ghost, like right over here. Well, here's the thing. Since we're talking about ghosts, right? It was me, my one best friend, and my cousin. We went to an abandoned warehouse, and we were like, oh, we're just gonna do ghost thing, like a ghost hunt, right? Just to like mess around. Yeah. There was like certain times where I felt genuinely uncomfortable, and it was just the three of us. We did a walkthrough, and there was a chair. Let's say it was facing 
this way in the room. Mm -hmm. This was the door. We walked in, chair was there, no problem, right? Come back around, do whatever, it's just the three of us. We come back down that hallway, that chair that was facing this way is now in the hallway looking at us. That's a true story. Yeah, yeah. Something was going on. Yeah. I did not move the chair. It was on camera. We Seriously, I was maybe like 12, 13. Yeah. And we were just like, oh, this will be so much fun. Oh my God. Yeah. Is that a ghost? Or was there someone else in there fucking with you guys? And that and that's something and, and we'll, we'll, never, we'll never know. We'll never know. But I know how I felt. Yeah. And by the end of the investigation, I, I say investigation because we have no idea what we're doing. Yeah. I felt genuinely sick. And I don't get that way mm. often. I felt so like overwhelmed with like whatever energy was like around me or yeah. whatever. I went outside and I threw up. That was the first thing I did. And I don't throw up often. I just felt so overwhelmed. Holy and I just shit. felt so sick that I had to I had to get out of there. And that is why whenever I see ghost stuff, I always look at it from the angle of well, let's try to explain this here. Yeah. Because, like, I know how I felt. Yeah. And I knew that there was no other thing in the world that could have made me feel that way. Weird. Weird stuff. Whenever I hear that, I just imagine, like, stories like that, I just imagine, like, the camera panning over to the person in the building with just you guys, it, right? fucking with you guys. Can you, you imagine? Know what I mean? It could have been. Like, there could have been easily, because I'm sure it was, like, a dark place, too. Like, like not too much light. There was, on, a, there right? was a couple, there was a couple lights on top, because it was, it was amazing. Yeah, 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 it was like they could have um, been like someone in the shadows the entire time following guys. And, and that's video. creepy. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Back to the video. <laughs> there are plenty of logical explanations for paranormal experiences. Here we go. Here we go. One is infrasound, a sound that falls below the audible 20 hertz frequency. Infrasound can be produced by many things, including severe weather, humpback whales, or certain machinery like <laughs> engines. What? <or> <laughs> They're humpback whales. I was like, what? <laughs> you know, like, the editor who made this video, right? Like, they gave him the cue cards, like, what examples of the right? And he was like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> humpback whale. Like, Google, Google, Google image. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha, fuckers. <laughs> Voice that one over, you little shit. That's so funny. And it's often accompanied by terrifying visuals, like shadows, people, or even monsters. Which, if you didn't know it was happening, that is the creepiest fucking horse I've ever seen in my entire life. That I didn't even see oh, that. Man. I didn't oh, see that. Oh. <laughs> Yo, why? Ah, <laughs> move faster. We're hopeful that ghosts exist because then we don't really die. Our loved ones are not gone from. Mm. They are real and alive. Wow. That's a very interesting concept. Yeah. And it makes sense. And I, I think, too, it's more fun to believe in something. I, I don't think people tell themselves, I believe in ghosts because of that. But that is definitely like a subconscious good explanation. reason. 100%. It's right? really good explanation. Yeah. It's an interesting concept, the mm -hmm. whole thing. But as far as energy, I think that's very real. I don't think that somebody dies and like their energy's gone. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. like maybe that's an explanation for paranormal. It's just energy. I'm totally on board with the energy thing. I don't know. I have a very weird perspective on it because I'm, I'm very much, you know, if science can't prove anything, then, it's then not what real. do we know? Yeah. But I think the energy aspect of it is something that's real. I, but I don't, I don't think it's like this like material thing, obviously. You know? Right. It's if you as a person exhibit like an immense joyous energy, that energy is gonna be left with the people that you touched. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, 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 I think yeah. that's what it is. I don't think it's like anything super out there. I know what you mean. Yeah. Here's something that I find interesting, and this is why I'm not 100% behind the if the science can't prove it, it's not real. Yeah. When you look at how vast our environment is, there's so many things that are undiscovered, and that doesn't mean that it's not real. If oh it yeah. Hasn't been discovered. Oh yeah. 100%. You know what I mean? So maybe science just hasn't found a way. Well, so to discover what we're trying to look at. All, All right, right, let's continue. Let's get video. back into this video. It's, I think it's almost done. Oh, wow! That was all we were waiting to do. <laughs> oh my god! All right. Well, uh, that was fun. That was us reacting to Vox. Uh, why people think they see ghosts? Do you see ghosts? Do you? We want to know. Do you? Do you? But do you? But like, actually, do you? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>